We thank you, Lord, that you have given us the opportunity to meet tonight. And Father, we pray that you guide our words, guide our minds and our hearts. And Lord, that you lead this, this time of this great meeting that you have put before us. In Jesus' name, amen. Councilman Templin. Present. Councilman Sister has asked to be excused. Councilman DiGiulio. Here. Councilwoman Gavarecki. Present. Councilman Rourke. Here. Madam Pretend McLeod. Here. Treasurer Armstrong. Present. And Mayor Mategas. Present. We have a quorum, sir. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. I'd like a motion to put tonight's agenda before the council. Motion, Mayor. Councilman DiGiulio is moved. Do I have a second? Support. Supported by Councilman Templin. Do we have any? Changes, corrections, additions? Yes, Mayor. I'd like to pull claims and accounts out. The uh, request under the consent agenda is to pull item A1, claims and accounts. Without objection, we will handle that item separately. Any other uh, questions or corrections, changes? Hearing none, I'll ask for the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That's carried. We're at the organizational business, city administrators' uh, reports and updates. Yes. Good evening, Mayor Council residents of Allen Park. Uh, just a few updates that we've got here. Uh, the street improvement millage project, uh, to resolve the restoration issues that the contractor was uh, running across, uh, they installed sod instead of using the hydro seed. It seems like that has been a much better um, avenue this time around, and uh, the sod has seemed to be taking a lot better than the hydro seed that they did multiple times. Uh, and then just had washed away with the rain. Uh, street section Savoni uh, cement, they're nearly finished with uh, the work on Moore Road. They'll be wrapping that up here probably this week. And they've started uh, working today on the areas of Wick Road. Uh, we have been assured that they will be done before school starts uh, as we've had that issue before around Lindemann and we don't want to have that again. Uh, the water main project, uh, the contractor installed the new water main on Jonas. It is currently being pressure tested or was pressure tested this afternoon. Uh, when I stop by the uh, site there. Once that is completed, there'll be two days of water testing. Uh, after that, they'll be able to start inst uh, the, uh, installing the water services and then begin the restoration to get that street back to some sort of normalcy. Um, thank you to uh, uh, Bill Miner for helping me uh, this afternoon with the uh, update on that project as he was out there with uh, his guys making sure everything was going well. And Tom, Tom as well, thank you. On uh, development news, the Planning Commission approved Culver's plan to tear down a portion of the old Ruby Tuesdays uh, to facilitate their need for a drive through That is on the agenda tonight. I do see a, the gentleman from Culver's in the audience as well. Um, so that'll be uh, taken up here later in this evening. And then the Holiday Inn Express is now open for business. And I drove by a Tropical uh, Smoothie Cafe and it looks like they're pretty close to getting uh, ready to be open here shortly. So as soon as we have that information, we'll get that uh, out to the, uh, to the Mayor Council and the public as well. Uh, DT Energy, they report that they're over about 80% completed on their LED streetlight conversion project. Uh, that is the project has replaced all the outdated streetlights uh, north of Southfield Road uh, with new LED lights, uh, streetlights. Uh, they're also replacing some areas throughout the city that were pre previously missed. Uh, this was part of a uh, grant that we received for the Distressed Communities uh, grant. So um, I think that's a hundred and thirty thousand dollar project uh, 143 when we did the other additional work as well and most of it being paid for by the uh, state of michigan grant and then here in the city hall project uh, just got a, a few hit and miss little items that we got left uh, probably be hopefully finished thursday or friday of what week we don't know but we're getting close <laughs> um, the emergency generator is on its way from uh, wisconsin as we speak uh, be, should be delivered here in the next few days uh, when their the electricians are on site to put the generator into service they're then going to work on the bollards out front they need the crane when they're putting the crane uh, to lift the generator into place they'll put the bollards in place the bollards apparently are about 700 pounds plus uh, so they're just not movable by uh, by hand uh, so they'll get those installed and uh, get that portion of that project taken care of. Uh, they're also working on the light with the exterior signage. Um, I know a couple of nights ago, if you came by, you may have seen that the city hall and police side were lit up. Um, on election day, I had to override the system for Mike's uh, workers. 
Um, it is on the green gate system. There's a, a, a misconnection there. So when I overrode the system, the lights stayed on on the front of the building. It looked really nice. Unfortunately, they won't stay on under the way the system's set up until they change that out. So once they get that changed out, we'll be all set with that uh, signage out there. And um, I think they still got some lights to put on the pole. Uh, they'll put them on the flagpole to light up the Allen Park uh, wording. Uh, but it, it, is, it does look really nice on the city hall side when it is lit up. So um, I think that's everything I've got for tonight. Okay. Any, uh, well, uh, before we ask uh, City Administrator with any of our questions, could we have a motion to uh, accept and file the updates, reports, documents, Support. submissions? Moved by uh, Mayor Pro Tem McLeod, supported by Councilwoman Gavarecki. Any questions of the City Administrator? Uh, just yes. one. Oh, oh, go ahead. No, no, no. Oh. Age before beauty. Go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. Right ahead. Uh -huh. oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the age part. Okay. Uh, the only thing I have here about the, the emergency generator, uh, that will keep the lights on the police department uh, and we'll still be able to accept guests. Is that right? We, we will Overnight be, guests? We will still be able to accommodate those uh, people that desire to stay with us for uh, overnight accommodation. I just want to make sure. Thank um, you. The, that'll also generate enough to um, uh, cover the entire building. So not only the police department, it will cover City Hall. City Hall, uh, so I that, see that. that yes. As well. Um, Two, two quick points if I can jump back real fast. Um, Comcast and WOW are up and running uh, for that. I just have to, I turned it off on the way in. The um, uh, television is showing free replays now, so I know that it is working out to the uh, broadcast for the, um, for the public to see the meetings on there. And then uh, I don't have any results of the Senior Olympics, and as we all know, they didn't invite me to be a judge for the cake eating portion, although I do volunteer. <laughs> Uh, but we did have one of our uh, residents uh, that was, they were in the paper here in the Monroe Evening News uh, for the Senior Olympics. So it was a nice to see uh, an Alan Parker on the uh, front page of the uh, um, Monroe Evening News for something very positive going on. Any other questions to the city administrator? Yes, I just have one. <laughs> so I listened to WCSX. <laughs> In, you were all over the radio yesterday morning. So is there something that's needed um, from the council to, if you could just enlighten yeah, so us? So I'll go Thank back you. there. So on the way in a couple of weeks, about a week and a half ago, I guess it was the Friday of the, um, actually it was the night of the uh, uh, Culver's being presented to the uh, council. I'd heard that they were uh, looking for a new road for uh, Bob Seeger Boulevard. And uh, they had a chance to do it in Ann Arbor, and apparently that got turned down. I'm not too sure what all the reasoning was. So I, I drafted a quick email, sent over to uh, um, Big, like, uh, Big Jim's house, is the uh, morning show, and uh, you know said maybe, maybe a possibility that we could be interested. We have a couple of different options. And the roadway that I presented to them as an option, uh, I basically not clearing it with council, I apologize, but I think it's a road that has no name because I don't refer to it as more of a a roadway, and that is the uh, area of, of South, from Southfield to Philomene, just at the far east of this property next to Shish uh, Palace, and then also uh, on the uh, drainage side is uh, the new Culver's location. Um, they seem to be interested. There was some back and forth uh, dialogue. Um, I told them that uh, we've got council meetings, but we've got to have council approval on this. Mayor and council have to approve this, and uh, I have not been able to hear back from them. I was off yesterday and Friday, so I didn't hear anything on the radio. Uh -huh. Um, they, they were impressed with the maps and everything that you sent, so and that you were responding to the call. So I just didn't know if you needed something. <laughs> spending my wife, I'm here late at night. Then, <laughs> <laughs> so I just didn't know. I mean, if you need something from council, then we'll yeah, bring I, it I think to it would next be council just meeting. a matter of uh, waiting for them to say what what to go. I, I kind of did a real quick calculation with uh, with uh, Tom Murray. Uh, you're probably looking less than $500 in, in materials and labor, and I'm certain that we could find some donors for, to cover that cost. And, and I, I think I'm probably being high on the high end of, of materials and labor to, to put in a couple signs and so forth. Uh, I, I did you know, strike my mind, Th theft is another one that I'd be worried about, so maybe, uh, maybe extra signs for sale or something like that for donate from charity <laughs> or something like that. But. Well, I think it's a great idea, and they are possibly, it sounded like looking at maybe a couple communities um, getting that, um, but they weren't getting return calls from Lincoln Park, so I was glad that. <laughs> Link, well, I had somebody on our Facebook page suggest Lincoln Park, and Lincoln Park can do their own 
looking at it and like doing so, it for them. So. Okay, well, if you but need I, some. I, I was always looking, you know, we're always looking, department heads and, that, and the and mayor council, and even the residents, always trying to find that something positive going on for the community. I think this is one of those that just says something could be positive. Uh, we always need some good publicity out there. We, we've got our fair share of bad news over the course of years, so we need some positive news. So, so I'm just saying, if something's needed by council, I'm sure I'd be glad to support it. At least I would, so thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none, I'll take the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That's carried, thank you. This portion of the agenda is the public's public comment. You're entitled to four minutes. And uh, please observe the rules of decorum which are on the back of your agenda. So citizens, if you'd like to come forward. Good evening, City Council, Mayor. At this time, I would like to go ahead and wish Harry Sisko a speedy recovery. He is very, he's going to be missed right now. He's a friend and he's a city councilman and he's being missed. So I wish him a speedy recovery. With that, a couple of things. We, we can't blame guns for killing people. We can't blame dogs for biting people. The only thing we can blame is the owners. So what that said is when we have problems with, with those things, we need to go ahead and go after the owners. So we have city ordinances already in place over dogs, biting other dogs, or biting people. I don't want to see those dogs put down. I'm a dog owner. I don't think none of us want to. What we need to do is, when it first happens, those owners need to be told what the ordinance is. And they keep those dogs on chains, on leashes. I want that ordinance really pushed. No dog should be walking on our streets without leashes. None. We need to keep that ordinance. A couple other things. As a taxpayer, and looking at some of our concrete that's being poured, and the heavy scaling, even though it's not, it's only what our eyes see, and supposedly it's not doing any damage or the foundation isn't being affected by the scaling, I still think it's a total waste of my taxpayer money. Now, we're using two different contractors, and they're using two different mixes. I think we need to change that. We can definitely see when a road is poured, one half is really white and the other half is gray. And that when they bring the cream to the top, like I brought it to a couple contractors many months ago, that cream has a tendency to flake. So we need to watch that and keep it at a minimum. It looks terrible. If that was being used on our sidewalks, it will be considered a tripping hazard. So we need to address that issue. One more other thing. The outside lights look great. City Hall looks wonderful. But you need to take care of a couple of things and they need to be taken care of very fast. You got a couple of tripping hazards right outside this door. You got pieces of wood covering your flush mounted lights that are not installed right now. As you walk out our city council, you'll see them. You've got a couple pieces of plywood now, they're co being covered and they're sunk and they're gonna be a tripping hazard. They need to be addressed very fast. One other thing, I'm a commissioner on a historical house. We need our position filled because of medical issues with other com commissioners, we might not even have a quorum to go ahead and do business. There's an opening right now that's open and we need it to be filled. It's been open for quite some time. We're trying to move forward. We're trying to do the best we can. So we need that taking to address. I also want to thank the public 
for going in and coming out to our great street fair again. It was beautiful weather, maybe too hot for some of us, but the weather was great, you know? And yes, Mayor, I understand my time's up. So with that, I want to thank you very much and have a great day. Good evening, Dennis Hayes, Quant, my neighbor, Ray. Um, I had a couple of comments. I've been out of town for a few months, but uh, I was very happy to see how much of more road has been paved. I, I was given to believe that that was like a project that wouldn't be covered by our work. I, don't, I, I seem to recall it was always going to be a down the road thing, and I was very happy to see so much of it improved. And I was also happy to see that uh, Savone is doing some of the major work. In the years past, seems to me his company mainly dealt with sidewalks and such, but he's doing some of the major job. And I haven't observed what Ray has. Of course, I'm not an expert on cement either, but uh, uh, it seems to be uh, pretty professional looking work from what I could tell. Now, one thing I did observe too that kind of distressed me somewhat, our former uh, property on Southfield where the city hall once stood that was demolished as we know. I guess it's been sold. I don't, I don't know the status of that, but the grounds look like hell. There's grass growing up and we wouldn't tolerate that in our neighborhoods and whoever's the new owner should be made to remediate that or we should go over there and fix it and send them a bill. God knows we can always use revenue if we can bill somebody for that, but it looks awful driving by there, and it shouldn't be that kind of blight look in our community that's starting to look a little bit better. And this building, I have to tell you, I'm very pleased with the results. I haven't really toured it yet. Uh, I've been watching online as things were happening. I think it was an excellent decision to come here. Uh, I'm glad we didn't go build from the ground up. I think it was a wise, fiscally, responsible thing to do and I'm very grateful for that. And finally, I wonder if council or somebody could tell me whether there's a statute of limitations on building permits. There's a house on Reek, god awful looking place, but it's made out of I don't know what, gray cinder blocks or something and black tile. They've been building on this thing for two years now as I remember. And I don't know what they're doing in there. I don't know if they ran out of money. I, every day there'll be a truck there for an hour and then there'll be somebody gone. But shouldn't there be a time limit by which you should complete your project? It seems to me that's only sensible. Some, somebody should look into that and maybe they could report, or maybe the administrator through the chair would report on how long is it going to be or if they're ever going to finish it. Uh, it was an odd project to begin with. They knocked the top off and built around it or something. I don't know what they were doing over there, but it's a bizarre looking place. And uh, I know they're trying to do something, but it doesn't fit with the neighborhood. It should never have been approved in my judgment, but we've done that before. Thank you very much. Hi, Scott O'Reilly from the um, Historical Commission, um, Chair. Uh, I just had a quick announcement, um, just a we had a quick development. Um, um, just in a reminder, the second Saturday of every month, the museum is now open uh, for residents to come tour between 1 and 4 o'clock. And we have a special guest coming sep this uh, September uh, the 8th, between 1 and 4. Um, she's an uh, Allen Park resident um, and was the um, Miss Michigan USA in uh, 1994, uh, Kelly Rochelle Pulowski Lomas. Uh, she'll be visiting and um, speaking to uh, whoever shows up and be able to be there for a meet and greet. And she's going to have some pageant um, items for people to look at and just kind of talk to people and her experiences about being in the pageant and things that have happened in her life um, before and after. So um, it should be pretty interesting. Uh, she was pretty excited to uh, come and uh, you know, kind of relive her, you know, her days. So, um, representing our, uh, our our state, um, she went on to represent our uh, state in the Miss uh, USA uh, pageant. So, um, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.
see no one else coming forward, so I'm going to move forward with the rest of the council's agenda. The item A1 claims and accounts was uh, removed from the consent agenda, so I'll ask that it put before the council. Could I have a motion, please? Motion. Support. Councilman Rourke has moved. Councilman DeGiulio has seconded. Is there any discussion of the claims and accounts? There, there was none. The reason to pull out is that I was going to be abstaining from voting on this due to a family member being on the claims and accounts. So in order to do that and not, um, not vote on the rest of it is the reason why I asked for it to be pulled out. So you've heard Councilwoman Gavarecki's statement as to her abstention and the reason we pulled it from the uh, total claims and uh, consent agenda. Any other uh, questions or discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask for the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That's carried, thank you. We will take the rest of the consent agenda, which is the payroll report, financial actions, the July 8, 2018 finance overview, budget to actual report, balance sheet, cash flow. And we have a, a license and permit door-to-door -door solicitation for Ken Yim Yim of Smart Home Pros to sell home automation alarms to residents. The $300 fee is paid. Motion, please. Motion. Councilman Templin has moved. Mayor Pro Tem McLeod has supported. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask for the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Those items are carried. We're at our resolutions to purchase a 2018 F-150 pickup truck for the water department in an amount of $30,697 um, and bypass the city bid process has no economic advantage since we're using the state bid M deal for buying the uh, vehicle. Could I have a motion on this item, please? Motion, Mayor. Councilman DeGiulio has moved. Support. Mayor Pro Tem McLeod has supported. Is there any discussion on this matter? Just a quick one, Mayor. Yes. What are we doing with our old vehicle? Are we trading it in or? The vehicle was worth less than $300. We tend to believe the fire department may want to use it for training purposes. Thank That's you. exactly where it's going. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Murray. <laughs> $300 vehicle, I tried to you, get you're money. pretty generous. I mean, you're pretty generous to give it to the fire department. We saved $16,000 purchasing this truck too, so. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Murray. Um, I'll ask for the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That's carried. Mr. Murray has remained because two hydro stall screw centrifugal pumps, models H12K-SD, being purchased through Du Bois Cooper Associates in an amount not to exceed $145,600. Now, oh, is this item going to, is this the bid item? No, they're a sole source. This is for the retention basin pumps. Okay. This is the only producer of these pumps, so a uh, bid process is not used. Any discussion? Real quick question, Mayor. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, Mr. Murray, maybe you can tell everybody what account number 592-603-985-000. What, what is that account the from? Water Department Capital Fund Outlay. So will that come out of the general fund, correct? No, that will come out of the water fund. Okay, thank you very much. Any other questions? Hearing none, I'll ask for the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That is carried. Resolution to authorize the police department to buy two 2019 Ford Interceptor Wait utility. Minute. Point of order. Do we have a motion? In I, I don't. Support? I just asked Councilman Templin. Did I miss oh, the I thought. I thought. No, that was before. Was Sorry. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll support it. 
I apologize. That's okay. I was <laughs> just looking at my notes at the same time. I looked at a moment. I said I didn't have it written down, but I'm running a little slower. Um, well, we vo voted on it on the motion of Councilman Rourke and Councilman Gavarecki to purchase the pumps. So we'll move to uh, item three. Mm -hmm. To uh, purchase two 2019 Ford Interceptor Utility Explorer vehicles from Gorno Ford at a cost of $57,702. Funds from the state narcotics forfeiture funds. And we bypass the city bid process because we are using the Michigan deal, which is a state bidding system and the most uh, cost efficient contract. Am I right? You are correct, sir. I'll ask uh, for the motion. Motion. Support. Council <laughs> Councilwoman Gavarecki. Any discussion of these purchases? Free money, right, Chief? Free to us. <laughs> <laughs> if there are no other uh, questions or discussion, we will take the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That is carried. Resolution to authorize the City of Allen Park to continue participating in the Great Lakes Water Authority Residential Assistance Program known as RAP, administered through the Wayne Metropolitan Community Action Agency. If I could have that motion put before the Council. Motion, Mayor. Councilman DiGiulio is Support. moved. Support. Councilwoman Gavarecki is supported. Does the City Administrator just want to explain to everybody what the program is yeah this is the uh, program <clears throat> for income eligible residents to apply for financial assistance with the, for their water bills um, we've been involved in this program since 2016 and they're just asking for a renewal of that same agreement uh, the way the program works is they can provide up to a thousand dollars per household per year uh, through two payment op options the first provides the residents with a monthly installment towards their water bill of 25 dollars for the 12 months period and the second provides $700 for the arrearage um, assistance, uh, 350 in two uh, six-month uh, payments. Uh, they can also qualify for uh, up to 12, up to another $1,000 to fix minor home uh, plumbing issues that are leading to those high water bills. Uh, I did talk to the gentleman here, um, uh, Jerome Drain. Um, I don't think any pun intended on that, but uh, uh, Mr. Drain explained that they can also qualify for a second year of the program too. Um, we currently have 12 people, uh, 12 residents going through this program, and we have had a couple of successful uh, people have exited out uh, with the assistance. And uh, the program is actually being administered for Great Lakes Water Authority through Wayne Metro Community Action Agency out of um, Wyandotte. Right. Are there any questions of council? Hearing none, I'll ask for the vote. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That is carried. A resolution to grant or deny a special regulated land use received from Ron Nelson and Gerald Olinick for a Culver's fast food restaurant with a drive through window at 15655 Southfield Road, which is the former Tuesdays. I'd like to put that by motion before the council. Motion, Mayor. Councilman DiGiulio, supported by <coughs> Councilman Rourke. And, um... Oh, hi. okay, you are Mr. Nelson or Mr. Olenek? Mr. Olenek. Mr. Nelson couldn't make it in his stead. Uh, Mr. Pepitone is there, and my partner is over there, too, as well. Okay. Um, what do you want to tell us about your project? We're really excited to do it here. Um, we've got... Um, it's been a long process dealing with Ruby Tuesday but, uh, and the owner, but uh, we're very excited to be part of this community. Um, Sean and I have, have reached out to both high schools, both Allen Park and Lincoln Park High School, because I've, I've owned a McDonald's for 17 years and always did a scholarship program, always did uh, reading programs for the elementary and had the pleasure of meeting the superintendent as well as I, or, uh, Mr. Kelly at uh, the high school the other week. And they're both very excited about us getting involved with that. And it's, this is such a great community. We're just, thank you for even seeing us tonight. And we're, we feel blessed to even be before you. Well, Mr. Nelson, before us, is there any questions? 
Or just Thumbs a lot of excited people waiting for you to open it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to hear Are you that. sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, we're, we're really well, excited. Do you think we'd get the $500 for the signs there if we rename it uh, Frozen Custard right. Boulevard? <laughs> that was, well, actually, I'll put myself down here. I'll be the donor for Bob Seger if we can do that. <laughs> You could tell what uh, my thinking is. <laughs> when, when they were at the uh, Planning Commission last uh, week, uh, they mentioned their time frame to open. I'm not too sure if you said that tonight, but uh, I think you'll be very happy to hear their time frame is rather aggressive. Yeah, we want to be, we'd want to. we like to be open by the end of the year, and a lot depends on you know, everything falling into place. But, yeah, that's our target. Quick question, Mayor. Mayor. How's the one to Julio? Well, I'm excited, too, that you've chosen Allen Park there, Mr. Olenek. And... Uh, I have a grandnephew that works at a Culver's in uh, Minnesota. Really? Yeah, so he's been there a couple of years. He's a high school kid. He's just graduating. Okay. But anyway, I'm excited to see it, too. Me, my wife and I, as you can see, I've had too many of your ice creams. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for choosing that one, Park. Oh, thank you for having us. We're just so, so very excited to be here. Any questions of council? No. You know, I have have one. I was looking at the, the drawings that were submitted to us, and coming in over the crossroad between Philomene and that, and I, I see your lane for coming through to order, and you're leaving an opening, and you're going to put signs there, do not block the through. Um, you had no concern about those three 90-degree turns coming off that road you're going to have to make a right yeah it'll be a, it'll be a little bit of a weave to get in there um, but under normal circumstances on most days that won't be an issue we've got enough uh, stacking in that lane to cover that um, and as far as the crossing of that two-way um, access to the bank behind me uh, will absolutely will be very clearly marked and actually you know for the first couple of weeks, I'll have people out in the parking lot directing traffic, mm -hmm. and it'll be clearly it'll be a sign that says, "Do not block the drive." So. Do you do you think you have enough? If if you get where I see the problem, and the McDonald's down across Park Avenue there has about the same stacking number you have, and that entrance goes into a uh, public parking lot for those businesses along there. Will you be able to stack back onto your property at all? If you, Because what I see your problem is getting out onto Southfield, one way or the other. I mean, I think Allen Parkers will figure it out. They'll cut back and go over to Philomene and go out. But right. people who are not familiar with us here. Well, a couple of things about that. The difference between McDonald's and, and Culver's. McDonald's being a long-term McDonald's person. Uh, about 75 to 78 percent of their overall traffic goes through drive-through. In Culver's, it's about 40. So, without a doubt, we feel we've got adequate uh, stacking behind there, and we shouldn't have, under normal circumstances, any kind of issues with Philomene uh, Boulevard or that un yet to be named <laughs> uh, road. Uh, I think we'll be, we'll be in great shape. <laughs> Well, I, 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 you know, because I, I know that's been a problem down there for them from time to time. Well, and the other thing, too, if I could, <clears throat> if I could add, um, Culver's and McDonald's on an average store basis do about the same amount of sales. Uh, but Culver's generally has about half of the guests that McDonald's does. And the reason they do about the same amount of sales is Culver's average check is a little higher. Sure. Well, it's almost double, actually. So... Again, so if you combine those two factors, the fact that we're only about 40% of, you know, of our sales and drive through and that fact that we've got half the customers that a typical McDonald's has, I think, I think we're, we're going to be in really good shape. Okay. Anybody else have a question for, did you say Mr. Olenek? I thought it was Olenek, Mr. Yes. Nelson. Yeah. I apologize. No, no problem. You are Mr. Olenek, correct? I am. <laughs> When do you plan to open? As soon as we can. As soon as we can. So. Thank you. Uh, we will. It's a lot of things still have to fall into place, but we'll get there. Okay. Good. <laughs> Very good. 
All right, if there are no other questions, then I'll ask for the vote of the council. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Welcome. You're in business. Thank you so much. <laughs> Other business tonight is a closed session of council to consider the purchase or lease of real property as permitted under MCL 15268, parents D sub um, parents. Can I have a motion to go to a, a closed session? Motion, Mayor. Support. Councilman DeGiulio has moved. Councilman Templin has supported. To the clerk, do I ask for the roll call? Yes, sir. <clears throat> we call. have a motion by Councilman DeGiulio, supported by Templin, to convene in the closed session to consider the purchase of or lease of real property as permitted under MCL 15.268, subsection D. And this is a roll call vote. Shall we convene? Councilman DeGiulio? Yes. Councilman Gavarecki? Yes. Mayor Mategas? Yes. Madam Pro Tem McLeod? Yes. Councilman Rourke? Yes. And Councilman Templin. Yes. And the uh, yeses have it. We will convene. If we can convene in five minutes. <laughs>